Hatshepsut was the daughter of King Thutmose I and Queen Amos. She grew up in the royal court and received good education. Keeping the royal lineage pure, Hatshepsut married her half-brother, Thutmose II. At the age of 12, Hatshepsut became the first Egyptian queen. Thutmose II had a short reign and before he died, he named his son Thutmose III as his successor. However, since Thutmose III was only two years old, Queen Hatshepsut acted as regent and ruled on his behalf. In 1473 BC, she declared herself pharaoh, took over and reigned for more than 20 years, becoming one of Egypt's most phenomenal pharaohs. Hatshepsut took the name Makar and began to portray herself as a man, sometimes calling herself Hatshepsut, to strengthen her position and address the disturbance of tradition. Hatshepsut was known for her many building projects, such as the Temple of Deir el-Bari and the Red Chapel, as well as her unique rise to power as a female pharaoh. Hatshepsut conducted military expeditions herself, fighting alongside her soldiers in battles against Egypt's foes in Nubia on two occasions. Historians have regarded her as a conqueror and a female warrior. She was a skilled politician and diplomat, and she established peaceful relations with neighboring countries, including Nubia and the Levant. She also reorganized the administration of Egypt, improving the country's economy and infrastructure. Hatshepsut died in 1458 BC from what historians suspect as a reaction to an ointment applied to her skin for a chronic condition. After testing some artifacts in her tomb, the ointment is believed to have contained a toxic ingredient that caused her death from cancer. Despite her success, her legacy was nearly lost from history, as her stepson Thutmose III tried to erase her memory from history after her death. Hatshepsut's story, now rediscovered, reminds us that the resilience of women can shape the course of history.